Uh, hi everyone here we are talking about another metric which can be used for faster calculation um, uh, let's talk about the number uh, which ends with 5 so suppose if we have to take a square how we can do that in our mind without using a calculator so suppose if I have 35 and I want to square, square it then in that case what I have to do is write 25 in the end and then take 3 which is the first digit and multiply it with its increment so 3 plus 1 is 4 and 4 into 3 is 12 so the answer is 1 2 2 5 so another example if I have uh, 65 uh, square in that case I have to write 25 and then uh, I'll take 6 so multiply 6 by 6 plus 1 that will be equal to 7 7 into 6 is 42 so the answer is 4225 so how uh, this trick works so let's uh, uh, look into that so suppose uh, we have uh, any number uh, which ends with 5 so that number can be written as uh, 10 into x plus 5 so here suppose if x is equal to uh, 3 then this number will be equal to 35 right so suppose if we have 10x plus 5 and we want to do a square of it if we do a square of it that will be equal to uh, 100x uh, square plus 100x plus 25 so if we solve this that will be equal to 100 into x into x plus 1 plus 25 so as you can see that uh, um, we are uh, taking the first digit and we adding a number into it multiplying it uh, multiplying it by 100 and then adding a 25 so here if we have uh, x is equal to 3 so if uh, x is equal to 3 then we will get uh, 3 into 4 uh, into 100 uh, plus 25 so that will give me again 1200 plus 25 so we'll get uh, 1 2 2 5 so this is how this trick works so basically uh, we are uh, adding the first digit by 1 multiplying it with the first digit putting at the 100 uh, multiplying by 100 and then adding 25 in the end so another example if I have uh, uh, 85 square and I want to multiply uh, I want to do a square so that will be equal to 25 and uh, we'll do 8 into 9 that's equal to 72 so answer is 7225 so this is how this trick works uh, I hope this helps I'll see you in the next trick uh, here we are uh, dividing a number by 5 so suppose if I have uh, 32 and I want to divide it by 5 so if you if you look at it uh, it looks little uh, complicated but uh, a easy way to do this is uh, doing this 32 into 2 divided by 10 so that will be equal to 64 and then a decimal so 6.4 so all you have to do is uh, take a double of uh, numerator and then uh, put a decimal there so another example is uh, suppose if I have uh, 16 I want to do it by 5 so the answer is 2 times 16 is 32 and then put a decimal here so that's your answer uh, again if I have uh, uh, 104 I want to do it by 5 so what would be the answer 2 times 104 is uh, 208 then a decimal here so that's your answer uh, again if I have to divide by 25 so suppose if I have uh, 16 and want to divide by 25 so how will I go about this in that case uh, I can write it as 16 into 10 into sorry 2 into 2 divided by 100 right so here uh, what's a uh, double of uh, 60 16 is 32 and then uh, 32 double is uh, 64 
So the answer is 0.64. Uh, again, if I have uh, 4 divided by 25, so that will be equal to 4 into uh, double of 4 is 8, and double of 8 is 16.16. Uh, again, another example is uh, if I have uh, um, 44 divided by 25 so 44 uh, into 4 that's what we have to do so 44 uh, into 2 is 88 and 88 uh, into 2 that will be equal to 1 uh, 76 so answer will be equal to 1.76 Uh, another example will be to divide by 125 so if I have 4 and I want to divide by 125 so how will I do that in that case that will be equal to 4 into 2 into 2 into 2 divided by 1000 so 4 into 8 is 32 so we have 32 and we put a 0 here so that's our answer again if I have uh, uh, 20 and want to divide by 125 so 2 into 8 is 16 so at 16 here and then uh, I need to I have uh, one more zero here but uh, then I can do this so this will be my answer I hope uh, this trick helped and I'll see you in the next edition uh, for example suppose if I have to multiply 48 and 52 so how will I do that so if you look at it carefully, it, this number are symmetrical around 50. So this can be written as 50 minus um, 50 minus 2 square into no, not square 50 minus 2 and 50 plus 2. So that will be equal to 50 square minus 2 square. So the answer will be equal to uh, 24 nine, six right same way uh, suppose if i have to do 79 into 81 so the answer will be equal to 80 square minus 1 square so this will be equal to 6399 uh, suppose uh, if we have to do it um, against uh, like suppose uh, 15 into 17 so in that case it will be equal to 16 square minus 1 square that's equal to uh, 255 uh, another example is uh, 95 into 105 here it will be equal to 100 square minus 5 square so that gives me 9975 so this is uh, how uh, you can uh, use this trick for faster calculation uh, which for the numbers which seems uh, difficult in the beginning uh, but uh, if you remember this trick uh, this can be done very quickly okay i'll see you in the next trip. Uh, hi everyone in this video we'll talk about another math trick which can be used for faster calculation for example if we have to multiply 64 and 5 so another way to write the same number is by 64 into 10 by 2 and a lot of time we cannot think of uh, that uh, for the calculation so in that case it is very easy half of 64 is 32 so the answer is 32 and a zero so it's 320 uh, again if i have to multiply uh, 78 by 5 so the answer will be equal to half of 78 which is 39 and then a 0 so that's 390 again if I have 128 and want to multiply by 5 that will be equal to 64 and a 0 and that's your answer um, another trick is uh, to multiply by 25 so if I have to multiply 60 uh, 64 by 25 then uh, we can write this as 64 into 10 by 2 into 10 
by 2. So we have to take half of 64 two times. So in that case, half of 64 is 32, half of 32 is 16. The answer is 1600. Zero, zero. Again, if I have uh, 128, I want to multiply by 25. In that case, it will be equal to uh, half of 128 is 64 and half of uh, 64 is 32. It's 32. Zero, zero. Um, again, uh, let's go to one more trick. Uh, if we have to multiply by 125. So how do I multiply by 125? So I'll take uh, uh, example. Uh, so 128. I want to multiply by 125. Then that can be written as 128 into 10 by 2 into 10 by 2 into 10 by 2. So we have to do we have to divide 28 by 2 three times, or we can divide it by 8. So if we divide uh, 122, 128 by 2, that is uh, 64, and half of 64 is uh, 32, and half 32 is 16. So the answer will be equal to 1600, zero, zero, and one more zero. So this trick may not be very convenient a lot of times because uh, dividing something by 8 is not uh, very easy sometimes, uh, but uh, it could be handy at certain times uh, now uh, let's do another thing uh, if we have to multiply 120 by 15 so how will I do that in that case uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll take half of 20 half of 20 is 60 and then I'll add that into 120 so this is this is uh, equal to 120 by 2 so here that will be equal to 180 then i put one more zero then so that's my answer so again if i have uh, 100 and uh, 180 want to multiply by 15 that will be equal to uh, half of 80 is 90 plus uh, 180 so 18 and 9 that's equal to 27 right, two zeros in the end so that's our answer um, so i hope this trick helped and i'll see you in the next trick. so first we will start uh, with the number which are uh, close to 50 and if you want to take a square of that numbers so for example if we have 48 square so how will we calculate this uh, number so if you look at 48 uh, it is close to 50 so it is uh, 50 minus 2 square right so in this case what we'll do is we'll subtract 2 from 25 and then we'll do 2 square so the answer will be equal to 2304 uh, another way uh, another example is like 46 square in this case we'll subtract 4 from 25 and do 4 square so the answer will be equal to 2104 or oh, 2116 let's take another example if I have 53 square then in this case it will be 25 plus 3 and then 3 square so the answer will be equal to 2809 uh, how this trick works so let's uh, look on the left side so if we have uh, something close to 50 it can be written as 50 plus x square and uh, 50 plus x square can be written as 2500 plus 100x plus x square or that will be equal to 25 plus x into 100 plus x square so uh, now as you can see that if x is equal to uh, 3 then uh, what I'm doing is I'm adding 25 plus 3 right and uh, then I'm adding 3 square so the answer is equal to 2809
so this is how this trick works it's based on uh, a plus b whole square uh, i hope this trick helps i'll see you in the next trick so uh, if you want to subtract any number from 1000 how we can do that very quickly in our mind without using a calculator so suppose if i have uh, uh, 1000 and i want to subtract uh, uh, 2 3 1 from it so how will i do that so in that case what uh, i'll do is first uh, i'll take the first number and i subtract it from 10 so 10 minus 1 is 9 then i'll take the second number and i subtract it from 9 that will be 6 and then i'll take the third number and i have also subtracted from 9 equal to 7 so my answer will be equal to 7 6 9 uh, again uh, if i have uh, 1000 minus 646 in that case i'll take the 6 10 minus 6 is 4 and i'll take the 4 so 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 and then i take the 6 so 9 minus 6 is equal to uh, 3 so the answer is 354 so this uh, method can be very helpful uh, if we are in the exam or day-to-day -day calculation so same thing can be done for larger numbers so suppose if i have one two three and 4 and want to subtract 2 3 3 1 from it so in that case what i'll do is first i take the 1 so 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 and i'll take the 3 so uh, 3 so that will be uh, 9 minus 3 is equal to 6 then i'll take the next 3 9 minus 3 is equal to 6 and then i'll take the 2 so 9 minus 2 is equal to 7 so answer will be equal to 7 6 6 9 so uh, we can do the same thing for much larger numbers but uh, uh, here is the approach and uh, i hope this trick helped i'll see you in the next trick thank you so suppose if we have a large number and we want to find out whether this number will be evenly distributed by either 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9 or 11. So how will we find it that? So let me begin with the example. So suppose if I have number 1, uh, 2, 4, 5, 6 and 2 and want to find out whether this number is uh, divisible by 2 so let's uh, say uh, uh, 2 so so for this uh, test uh, it is very easy so if we have a uh, last digit so we have to look at the last uh, digit and if it's uh, even then yes and if it's odd then we'll say no so so here we can see that the last uh, digit is uh, 2 so it should be divisible by uh, 2 because it's a even number in the end now let's talk about uh, division by 3 so if i have 1 2 4 5 6 2 again and i'm looking whether it's divisible by 3 or not so in that case what i'll do is uh, i'll add all these numbers together so i'll say 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 2 so that will give me uh, 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 11 18 plus 2 uh, 20 so as you can see uh, 20 is not divisible by 3 so it uh, it is not a divisible by 3 so uh, the 20 is not mm, of 3 so that's why uh, this uh, number will not be evenly divided by 3 so 
it cannot be evenly divided by 3 so what should be the number if, if it has to be divided by 3 so what uh, would have happened is that instead of 2 if you make it 3 so 1 2 4 5 6 and we write 3 in the end then in that case this sum will become 21 so that number should be divisible by 3 or we can add increase any other number we can say 2 2 4 5 6 2 that should also be divisible by 3 or we can say uh, 2 uh, and increase 1 in each of these 3 and say 3 5 6 6 2 so this should also be divisible by 3 so uh, what I am doing is I am making a modification uh, by just changing the number enough so that the sum will remain uh, the uh, divisible by 3 will be divisible by 3 so in that case the whole number should be divisible by 3 so that's how uh, this trick works uh, now let's talk about 4 so if I have uh, 1 2 3 4 sorry the number was 1 2 4 5 6 2 and uh, whether it is uh, divisible by 4 or not so in that case uh, what I have to do I have to look at the last two digit so R uh, is uh, the last two digit are evenly divided by 4 so 62 uh, if we try to divide 62 uh, by 4 then that will be something uh, I look at uh, 1 and then I have 22 left so that is not uh, evenly divided by 4 so this number is not uh, even they cannot be evenly divided by 4 so how can I modify this number if I add 2 more in the end so I'll make 1 2 4 5 6 and uh, make 4 here then this number should be evenly divided by 4 and I can modify this number anyway I can write 4 3 2 1 6 4 then again it is divisible by 4 or I can write anything x x x x and 64 then this number should also be divisible by 4 so I have to look for the last two digit to check if the number is divisible by 4 or not in this case it is not now uh, right, let's write the number again so 1 2 4 5 6 2 uh, is this number divisible by 5 uh, no because for 5 it to be divisible by 5 the last digit the last uh, digit should be either 5 or 0 so if it's not in this case it's not so it is not divisible by 5 so if uh, I would have uh, 1 2 4 5 6 5 then it would be or if I would have 1 2 4 5 uh, 6 0 then it would be but not in this case so we know this now now let's uh, talk about divisibility by uh, 6 so I have 1 2 4 5 6 2 so is this number divisible uh, by uh, by 6 so um, to check that we know that 6 is a multiplication of 2 and 3 so we can we have to run the test for 2 and then we have to run the test for 3 because this is an even number we know that it is uh, divisible by uh, 2 so this is okay but we did the test before and we find out that uh, the sum if I go back here the sum was 20 so if I add all these numbers together the sum was 20 so 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 2 was 20 and 20 is not a divisible of 3 so this uh, uh, is not a divisible of 3 so that's why this number should not be evenly divided by 6 but how can we modify this we can modify this by adding a one more number so if I add one more number here then it will become 1 2 4 5 6 3 but now this number would be 
like this so it will be 2 into 3 it is divisible by 3 but not by 2 so still uh, if we talk about 6 it will not be divisible by 6 another modification we can make is add another 3 here so if I add 1 2 4 5 6 6 then this is both even and uh, the sum will be still divisible by 3 so we'll have uh, 2 into 3 it passes the test both for 2 and 3 so therefore it should be divisible by 6 so that's how we do the test for divisibility by 6 now let's uh, go for 8 so now we have uh, 1 2 4 5 6 2 and we want, want to find out whether this number uh, is divisible by 8 so in that case we'll take the last three digits and see if 5 6 2 is uh, divisible by 8 so if we divide it by 8 then this will give me uh, uh, so from this I can see that uh, uh, 7 and then something uh, which is not divisible by 8 so this number is not divisible by 8 so this whole number should not be divisible by 8 how can I make it divisible by 8 by making this three digits divisible by 8 so if I have 5 6 8 that can be divided by 8 so we'll get 71 so therefore if I change this number to 1 2 4 5 6 8 then this number would be divisible by 8 then in that case it will work now uh, let's uh, talk about the divisibility by 11 so if I have 1 2 4 5 6 2 and I want to find out whether this number is divisible by 11 so what I'll do is I'll take the alternative number so 1 this number and this number so I'll take this this and this and then I'll take this number this number and this number and I add them together so I'll say 1 plus 4 plus 6 that's 11 and then 2 plus 5 plus 2 that's 9 so if I subtract 11 from 9 that give me 2 and 2 is not a divisible of 11 so this number should not be divisible of 11 so um, I can uh, I hope this uh, tricks uh, will help you with your exam so day-to-day -day calculation and I'll see you in the next trick thanks so suppose if we have a large number uh, 2 3 1 uh, 4 and we want to divide it by 9 and uh, we want to know that what would be the remainder after we divide it by 9 so how will we find the remainder so in that case what we will do is we'll add all these three, four numbers four digits together so 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 4 that will give me 5 plus 1 6 plus 4 10 so if you look at 10 10 is if you divide 10 by 9 you will get 1 as a remainder so your remainder would be 1 in that case uh, another uh, example is uh, 2 1 6 4 3 2 1 so that you can see it's a very large number and what will happen if you divide it by 9 so in that case uh, 2 plus 1 plus 6 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 10 uh, is 13 13 plus 6 is 19 so we have 19 divided by 9 so what we'll uh, get here is uh, 9 uh, if you divide 19 by 9 I'll get a remainder of 1 so again if you divide this number by 9 your remainder will be 1 another thing you can also do is add 9 plus 1 that will give you 10 and then add uh, 1 plus 0 that will give you 1 so your remainder will be 1 
uh, another uh, example if we have a, a now much easier example uh, if I have 73 and I want to divide by 9 so we know that uh, 7 plus 3 is equal to 10 and if I divide it by 9 my remainder will be equal to 1 uh, again if I have uh, 67 and I want to divide by 9 in that case 6 plus 7 is equal to 13 and again uh, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 so the remainder is 4 another way is look at the uh, divided 13 by 9 in that case you will also get 4 so your remainder if you divide it by 67 by 9 the remainder should be 4 so i hope uh, this trick will help and i'll see you in the next trick thank you um, uh, let's talk about the number uh, which ends with 5 so suppose if we have to take a square how we can do that in our mind without using a calculator so suppose if i have 35 and i want to square square it then in that case what i have to do is write 25 in the end and then take 3 which is the first digit and multiply it with its increment so 3 plus 1 is 4 and 4 into 3 is 12 so the answer is 1 2 2 5 so another example if i have uh, 65 uh, square in that case i have to write 25 and then uh, i'll take 6 so multiply 6 by 6 plus 1 that will be equal to 7 7 into 6 is 42 so the answer is 4225 so how uh, this trick works so let's uh, uh, look into that so suppose uh, we have uh, any number uh, which ends with 5 so that number can be written as uh, 10 into x plus 5 so here suppose if x is equal to uh, 3 then this number will be equal to 35 right so suppose if we have 10 x plus 5 and we want to do a square of it if we do a square of it that will be equal to uh, 100 uh, x square plus 100 x plus 25 so if we solve this that will be equal to 100 into x into x plus 1 plus 25 so as you can see that uh, um, we are uh, taking the first digit and we adding a number into it multiplying it uh, multiplying it by 100 and then adding a 25 so here if we have uh, x is equal to 3 so if uh, x is equal to 3 then we'll get uh, 3 into 4 uh, into 100 uh, plus 25 so that will give me again 1200 plus 25 so we'll get uh, 1 2 2 5 so this is how this trick works so basically uh, we are uh, adding the first digit by 1 multiplying it with the first digit putting at the 100 uh, multiplying by 100 and then adding 25 in the end so another example if i have uh, uh, 85 square and i want to multiply uh, i want to do a square so that will be equal to 25 and uh, we'll do 8 into 9 that's equal to 72 so answer is 7225 so this is how this trick works uh, i hope this helps i'll see you in the next trick thanks here we are talking about adding number in series so suppose if I have a number uh, from 1 to 9, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 and 9 and we want to add all these numbers together. So I'll show you what's the approach is and how we develop a formula from that and that can be applied everywhere to add number in series so if we look here carefully so what we'll get is that we can add this one into the nine here so we'll get a 10 then we can add this number two into eight here so we'll get another 10 then we can add three into seven here 
so we'll get another 10 then we can add 4 into 6 here so we get one more 10 and then we are left with a 5 which is a half of a 10 so it's a half of a 10 right so uh, so 10 divided by 2 you can say so total we have a 4.5 into 10 so we have four tens and half of a 10 so that's 4.5 into 10 so again if we look here that will be equal to 9 divided by 2 into 10 so what's a 9 here 9 here is the last digit so we can write it so suppose if i have to add 1 plus 2 until x we can write this as x into x plus 1 which is 10 divided by 2 so we can use this formula for any any kind of sequence suppose now if we have to add 1 plus 2 until 99 so the answer will be equal to 99 into 100 divided by 2 if i have to do the same thing for until 100 then uh, i can do the same so now suppose instead of 1 if the number starts from somewhere else suppose if it starts from uh, 11 and it goes until 19 so how will i do that in that case uh, i'll first add 1 to 19 and then i'll subtract 1 to 10 from it so how will i do that so 1 to 19 will be equal to 19 into 20 divided by 2 and 1 to 10 will be equal to uh, 10 into 11 divided by 2 so if i subtract both so that will be equal to 19 into 20 divided by 2 minus 10 into 11 divided by 2 so that's how i can uh, do the addition in sequence which do not start from 1 so um, uh, for for a general formula that will be equal to suppose if i have x and uh, it goes until y and i'm adding so it goes like this so in that case uh, i can uh, write this as uh, y into y plus 1 divided by 2 minus so here we have to be careful because this is x so this will be equal to x into x minus 1 because we are adding until x minus 1 divided by 2 so that will be our answer if we have to add number in series so i hope uh, this trick works uh, will help you and i'll see you in the next trick thanks uh, we'll multiply large numbers by 11 12 or even 13 uh, without using a calculator in the mind so let me begin uh, with the example so suppose if i have a uh, 1 2 and 3 and i want to multiply by 11 so how will i do this so in that case what i'll do is uh, first uh, i'll just take the last terms so i'll say 1 and then i'll say 3 here and then i'll add 1 and 2 together so if i add 1 and 2 together that will be equal to 3 and then i'll add 2 and 3 together that will be equal to 5 so my answer will be equal to 1 3 5 3 again how did i do this so my first digit is same as the first digit uh, we have uh, here my second digit will be equal to 1 plus 2 it is first digit plus second digit my third digit will be equal to uh, second digit plus third digit and the last will be equal to the last digit plus zero because we have nothing else left so that will be equal to one three five three so that's my answer one three five three uh, again uh, how will i do the same for 12 so if i have one two three and i want to multiply by 12 so here what will i do is i'll first take the first digit so first digit we have one so i'll just write a one here then we have another digit uh, so for this to calculate the second digit of our answer 
we'll take the first digit and multiply by 2 and then add 2 into it so what I did here is I multiply this by 2 and then I added 2 into it so that will give me 2 into 1 is 2 plus 2 4 then I'll for calculating the third digit of the answer uh, I'll do 2 into 2 plus 3 that will be equal to 7 so I multiply this by 2 and then I add it into the 3 so that will be equal to 7 and then for the last digit I'll take uh, multiply the last digit by 2 so if I multiply this by 2 so 3 into 2 plus 0 so that will be equal to 6 so the answer will be equal to 1 4 7 6 so basically I am multiplying each digit, each digit by 2 and then I add it, um, I'm adding the next digit into it so let's uh, go to another example uh, and multiply by 13 so if I have 1 2 3 and I want to multiply by 13 in this case I'll do the same way first digit will be equal to first digit the second will be 1 into 3 plus 2 and third will be equal to 2 into 3 plus 3 and then on we have 3 into 3 plus 0 so if you look here I multiplied all the numbers by 3 here I multiplied all the numbers by 2 and here uh, I did not do the any, any multiplication because it was 1 so if I add these numbers it will be 5 9 and 9 so the answer will be equal to 1 5 9 9 so that's how I'll multiply any number by 11 12 or 13 so let's uh, do another example if I have uh, uh, 1 2 3 1 so I have to multiply by 11 so that so the first uh, digit will be equal to 1 second will be equal to 1 plus 2 third will be equal to 2 plus 3 and fourth will be equal to 3 plus 1 and then we are left with the fifth which is equal to 1 so the answer will be equal to 1 3 5 4 1 so answer is 1 3 5 4 1 again if I have 1 2 3 1 and I want to multiply by 12 here we have 1 then we have uh, 1 into 2 plus 2 that's then we have 2 into 2 plus 3 3 into 2 plus 1 and 1 into 2 so that will give me 4 this will give me 7 7 2 so answer is 1 4 7 7 2 again if I have to multiply by 1 by 13 then the answer will be equal to 1 1 into 3 plus 2 1 uh, 2 into 3 plus 3 3 into 3 plus 1 and 1 into 3 so that will give me uh, 3 plus uh, 2 is equal to 5 uh, 3 into 2 is 6 plus 3 9 and if you look here it will be 3 into 3 is 9 plus 1 10 so here we have 10 and here we'll have 3 so in this case we have to be careful because there is a carryover so we have to write 3 then here we'll write 0 because we have 10 here so 1 will go to the 9 so 9 plus 1 is 10 again so we'll have one more 0 
it will go to the 5 so it will be 6 and then it's 1 so answer is 16003 uh, so that will be our answer so i hope this trick will be helpful and i'll see you in the next trick thanks we'll have another matrix which can be used for faster calculation uh, here we are talking about multiplying two numbers uh, which are less than 20 for example if i have to multiply 12 and 13 in this case what i'll do is first i'll say 2 plus 3 which is 5 and then i'll multiply 2 and 3 which is 6 the answer will be equal to 156 uh, again if i have 13 and want to multiply by uh, 12 no sorry uh, by 15 then in that case it will be equal to uh, 3 plus 5 that is 8 so we'll write a 8 here and 3 into 5 which is 15 so I have 5 1 and 1 so that will give me 195 uh, again if I have uh, 11 and I want to multiply by 14 then that will be equal to uh, 1 plus 4 it's uh, 5 and 1 into 4 that's equal to 4 so it's 154 so how this trick works so let's uh, take an uh, look into it so if we have 10 plus x and then 10 plus y so we are taking uh, 10 as a base and these numbers are close to 10 so in that case if we resolve this it will be equal to 100 plus x plus y plus so it will be 10 here and uh, then we have x y so if we solve this it will be equal to 10 10 plus x y plus y uh, plus x y so if x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 you can see it will be equal to 10 into uh, 1 uh, 0 plus 5 plus 2 into 3 so that will give me uh, 15 and then 6 so it will go to the 10th place that's how this trick works however uh, sometimes it's very handy when we are doing faster calculation so i'll see you in the next trick thanks here we are talking about multiplication by 6 so let's take an example suppose if i have 14 and i want to multiply it by 6 so how will i do this first i'll take the last digit of the number to which we want to multiply by 6 so it's uh, the last digit here is 4 so i'll just write a 4 here and then what i'll do is i'll take half of this number so half of this number is 7 and then i'll take this first digit and i add it to the 7 so that will be equal to 8 so my answer will be 84 another example if i have uh, 4 and i want to multiply by 6 so in that case the last digit is 4 so i'll write 4 here and then half of 4 is equal to 2 so and because it's a 0 here so if i add 0 it will still remain 2 the answer will be equal to 24 uh, let's do something more difficult if i have to multiply 72 by 6 in that case uh, the last digit is 2 so we'll write a 2 here and then half of 72 so 72 divided by 2 is equal to 36 and then we'll add the first digit uh, so 36 plus 7 is equal to uh, 43 so the answer will be 432 uh, again another example if i have uh, 64 want to multiply by 6 in that case i'll take the last digit which is 4 and then 64 divided by 2 is equal to 32 and then i'll add 6 into it that will give me 38 
So the answer is 384. So how did I get this trick? Uh, I just uh, uh, look at the table of uh, 6 and uh, I look into the patterns and uh, this is uh, what I get and uh, this is only valid for even numbers um, you cannot apply this trick for odd numbers uh, it's only valid for even numbers but still uh, this trick could be handy for some of the calculations you will have in the exams or your day-to-day -day life so I hope this uh, trick works uh, I'll see you in next trick thanks uh, today we'll talk about how to square any three digit number without using a calculator so let me begin with the example so suppose if I have 206 and I want to square this number so how will I do that so in that case first I look at the first digit and uh, I will take a square of digit so the square of 2 is 4 so 2 square is 4 uh, then I'll take the last digit and I'll take a square of that digit so square of 6 is 36 right and now to get the middle numbers what I'll do is I'll multiply 2 and 6 this 2 and 6 and then I'll multiply again with 2 and that will be uh, 6 into 4 24 so that will be the answer uh, let me take uh, another example so uh, suppose if I have um, 409 and I want to do a square in that case um, 4 square is equal to 16 9 square is equal to 81 and 4 into 9 into 2 so 9 uh, into 8 that is uh, 72 so my answer is 167281 so that's our answer now uh, if we have something which is uh, more uh, uh, bigger or in, uh, I will give you example of a carryover so now suppose if I have 825 and I want to do a square of this number so this will be a little different so here the approach will be same so 8 square so 8 square is 64 and then 25 square so 25 square is 625 right so we'll write 25 and then we have to write a 6 here because we can only use the two digits in the end now if we multiply 8 25 and 2 that will be 400 so we can only write two zeros here and I have to write a 4 here why because we can only take the two digits so now if we uh, add them together then it will be 6 and 4 plus 4 is 8 0 6 plus 0 is 6 and 25 so that will be my answer so if you practice or uh, then you can always do this calculation without even writing it on the paper now how this trick works so let's look into it so any three digit number can be written as in the following form uh, 100 x plus y uh, so if x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 6 then it will be 306 right now if I need to square this number so in that case it will be equal to 10,000 x square plus 200 x y plus y square now you can see that we have four zeros for x square two zeros for two x y and no zeros for y square so if we add them together so it will look something like that x square zero 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 right and then we have 
टू एक्स वाई जीरो जीरो सो दिस टू एक्स वाई विल गो ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट टू डिजिट हेयर राइट एंड देन वी हैव वाई स्क्वेयर विच विल गो हेयर सो बिकॉज देर इज अ जीरो हेयर सो द वाई स्क्वेयर कैन ऑक्यूपाई दिस टू डिजिट इन द एंड सो अगेन इफ आई हैव एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइन एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू इलेवन then you can see that uh, 9 square is 81 so there is no limit for x square here right uh, and then uh, we have uh, uh, 2xy so 2 into 9 into 11 so that will be equal to 18 into 11 and that will be equal to 198 so we'll have 1 98 and then we have y square so 11 square is 121 so 21 and 1 here right so in that case the answer would be equal to 8999921 so that's your answer so i hope this uh, video helps and i'll see you in the next matrix Hi everyone in this tutorial i will show you how to multiply uh, any number with 5 25 125 or 15 very quickly in your mind without using a calculator so this approach is very handy when you go to a, a market or you are in exam and uh, you want to do calculations very quickly uh, and if you practice you can remember all this uh, calculations Or, or or all these concepts in your mind. So let's do the first uh, multiply by five. So in case of five, suppose I have a number twenty two and I want to multiply it by five. So all I have to do is divide twenty two by two. That will be eleven, and then put a zero in the end. So that will be my answer. Again, let's say I have eighty six and I want to multiply it by five. So all I will do is. 86 divided by 2, so that is equal to 43, and then put zero in the end, so that will be 430. So this is the concept. The concept is very easy. Uh, so 5 is equal to 10 divided by 2. So in a way, uh, if I multiply 86 um, by 5, that is equal to 86 into 10 divided by 2, so that will be equal to um 43 into 10 is equal to 430 so as you can see this is not nothing new and uh, more, most of people already know this uh, but uh, we don't remember uh, this uh, concepts when we are doing some calculations in the exam or in the market so it's it's very handy if you remember this kind of uh, uh, concepts now let's go to 25 if i have to multiply any number by 25 So we know that 25 is equal to 5 into 5. So instead of dividing by 2, we will divide by 4. So now suppose I have 88, then I want to multiply it by 25. So in this case, I will divide 88 by 4. So divide by 4. So that will be equal to 22, and then I put 20 in the end. So that is my answer. Again, if I have to multiply 64 by 25. so that will be equal to 16 because 64 divided by 4 is equal to 16 so we have 1600 as answer so now uh, let's say i have to multiply any number by 125 so we know that 125 is 5 into 5 into 5 so instead of dividing by uh, 4 we can divide by 5 uh, divide by 8 So now let's take example like if I have 80. So I'm using 80 because it's easier to divide by 8. So if I multiply it by 125, so that will be equal to 80 divided by 8 uh, is 10, and then uh, 3 0 in the end 1 2 and 3. So that is my uh, answer. So again, let's uh, take another example. If I have um um 64 so as we know that um 
8 into 8 is 64 so in this case if I multiply by 125 that will be equal to 8 because we divided 64 by 8 and then put 30 in the end so it will be 8000 and uh, let's take another example 128 by 125 so in this case uh, we know that uh, 128 divided by 8 is a 16 and then we put 30 in the end so that is our answer so um, now let's go to uh, multiplication by 15 so in case of 15 uh, this is a little different so um, we have suppose we have a uh, 64 and want to multiply it by 15 so in this case what I will do is uh, I will take 64 and then I will add 64 divided by 2 to it and then multiply by 10 so that will be equal to 64 plus 32 into 10 and that's equal to 96 0 right so let's do it quickly suppose if I have 44 and I want to multiply by 15 so I know that 44 uh, half of 44 is 22 so that will be equal to 66 and then a 0 so that will be uh, 660 suppose if I want to multiply uh, 22 by 15 so that will be equal to 330 and if you want to multiply um, 66 by 15 that will be equal to 99 and 0 so as you can see I'm, I'm using a simple numbers but you can always go to complicated numbers and do same kind of 